Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to make a short video on the sling that we use at the Appleseed Project shoot. We used a GI sling. This is what it looks like. It comes in basically two different versions. This is the cotton version. Over here we have the nylon. Uh, between the two, if you have a choice, I, I suggest you get the nylon sling because it will actually last a lot longer. The cotton sling does eventually wear out. Alright, this is how it comes. This is the adjustment piece right here. Back here you have another adjustment and this is where you make the loop that we will learn about using in Appleseed. And here we have the uh, attachment that attaches to the rifle. Now in this video I'm not going to teach you how to shoot with the sling. I'm just going to go over what to get so that when you go to Appleseed you will have the equipment that you need to get the most use out of your Appleseed shoot. The GI sling was designed to go with the military rifles like the M1 Grand and the M14. And the M1 Grand and M14 come with these sling swivels already attached. So attach, to attach your sling to this type of rifle with the swivels already attached, you just run this through the front swivel. You clip the back port part on the rear swivel and there you have it. This is the way that it attaches. Here's an example on an M14 or actually an M1A in this case. See the front swivel, the rear swivel. Alright, this way when you are going to shoot prone or seated you pop this off, you make your loop for this part of the sling, then you run your arm through and that's how you use the sling as a steady hold factor. Like I said, you'll learn these how to do that at the apple seed. I just want to make sure that you have the right equipment to go. Alright, what if your rifle does not come with these sling swivels? More than likely, you're going to be using a 22, like these 22s. These are both the Ruger 1022. This is the takedown version. Here's just a, a standard carbine version. All right, these rifles may or may not come with the swivel bases. Here, you see the swivel base. And here, here's the rear one, here's the front one. This rifle here did not come with any swivel base studs. They're also called swivel studs or bases. I installed these on this rifle. It's a necessary improvement that you must make to your rifle, in my opinion, if it does not come with these. Uh, I think it actually improves the value of your rifle. Um, there are two types of these bases that you can get. One has um, attaches with a nut on the other side and the other one has a wood screw. Uh, generally you will use the wood screw in the rear of the stock. If When you buy them as a set you will get two, uh, one longer than the other, the longer one screws. You have to drill a hole, make sure you drill a hole of the proper size, it will tell you on the package. Drill a hole of the proper size and then you just screw this thing in um, with using the wood screw. Alright, up here, this the one for the front will have a little bit shorter uh, screw on it. But for a synthetic stock like this, for the front you will probably use the base that has a nut on the other side of it. This one has the wood screw in the back and the nut on the front. If you have a wood stock,
if you have a wood stock you will need to get this the bases that have the wood screw on both the front and the back and one is shorter than the other one you drill a hole and you screw the shorter one in the front and you screw the longer in the back both of these are wood screws for a wood stock this rifle actually came with these sometimes your rifle 1022 will come with these bases sometimes not when you buy your sling it will not come with these swivels you'll if you're going to use this type of sling attachment you will need to buy these swivels all right it is very important to know that most slings are one inch sling the GI sling is one and a quarter inch sling which is actually much better it's more comfortable it's better all the way around but what that means is when you buy your swivels you need to make sure that you get swivels that are one and a quarter inch wide, not one inch wide. So what you can do with, in, with the rifle like this, with the bases in here like this, is you can attach this to the back, leave that attached, and then hook your hoop on that or you can take it off this way you can leave your swivel on the attachment and attach it this way I recommend that you leave the attachment on and then just take this off To attach your sling again run it through here darn it This is a quick adjustment piece. At Appleseed, you will leave this part attached here. What you will be unattaching is the rear part. Now you can also have the option, you also have the option of just completely taking this part off. and not using this part at all and instead put this swivel replace this part with this swivel and that way you have less hardware clanging around and if you aren't going to use this sling on a, another rifle that will, needs it I'd probably take this part off put this on there and then when you attach your sling or unattach your sling you can just attach or unattach this part right here so make sure before apple seed it would be great if you make sure that your 1022 has the swivel stud bases that you have some of these swivels make sure they're one and a quarter inch and get yourself a GI sling this is the nylon version. I recommend the nylon version. The best place to get these is at the Appleseed website. You can find them cheaper. It costs probably about $16 plus shipping. You can find these cheaper, but if you'll notice, this is a very, very well-built sling. A lot of these, if you, buy, if you find them cheaper, 
they are cheaper. Uh, you get what you pay for in this case. The best slings that I have found are the ones that are actually sold by Appleseed. You go to appleseedinfo.org and then look on the, at the store. Click on store and you'll find this, these slings in the store. Now if you're going to an apple seed with me, I have plenty of these GI slings as loaners with these swivels. So if you don't have one, if you're going with me and you don't have a sling or a swivel, don't worry about it. But what you will need to have before apple seed is you will need to have these swivel stud bases. So make sure you have these on your rifle. Look forward to seeing you at Appleseed. Happy shooting. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.